Hello friends, welcome back to Code Tonight. So in today's video, we will see a common error that we often uh, face in the entity framework is problem in mapping fragments uh, starting at line. So this error is basically you will get in the entity framework sometimes when you have some uh, sync issue between the database and the ADMS model in the project. Okay. So uh, whenever you receive this error, then you have to remember one thing that there is something wrong going on in your DMS or in your database. Okay. So uh, we have to figure out about which place we have to check. So it is saying that column products dot total in table products. Okay. So we will go and check the product table because it is saying issue is there. Okay. So we go to ADMS diagram. So this is the product. Um, table which is here now we will also open the product table in the database so this is the product table so and uh, then what you have to do is you have to start matching all the columns if uh, all those are same at both the places or not okay so uh, we will go one by one in matching those and so product id is there product category is there subcategory is there product name is there description is there product size product weight unit so this is the one column which is not in the entity framework model okay now uh, when you will say this is because uh, you have already created the entity framework uh, admx file now you have added one new column in the table afterwards and you have not refreshed your entity framework so in that scenario you will open receive this error so basically what we have to do is we have to make sure that either we delete the column from the table or we just add that in the ADMX file. So now how you will add that in the ADMX file is you will right click on this and click on update model from database. So you will click on the refresh and finish. So uh, once you select the refresh tab and click on finish, what it will do is it will uh, again pull the objects from the uh, database. So it will again refresh the table uh, from the database and if that way doesn't work and you still receive the error, then what you can do is you can delete the uh, entire table from the diagram and then you can go to add and add the table again. So that will surely refresh the model again. So um, once you the finish operation is completed, now we have to click on save. So um, basically save will save all the changes if any changes have happened in the refresh process. So it will be saving the changes. So now uh, we can clearly see that we still doesn't have that new column in the model. So again we will get the error because it is not resolved. So now the second way that we will try is we will select this and delete. It will ask for your permission. You can say yes. Now we will go to right click and update model from database. And in the add, you will go to table DBO. So this is the table which we deleted. So I will add it again and we will click on finish. So uh, you can see the table we have got here now and it has the missing column name or property you can say. Now we have this star icon that means that it is not saved so we have to click on save icon to save it.
so now the changes are saved now you can go to build and rebuild solution so it is rebuilt down now we can go to the controller again and we will run the project so on this time we should not get the error no mapping fragment so we should not get that error this time So we will go to the next line and this time we were getting the error in the products line so this time it will work fine so that error is resolved. So this is how you can fix uh, the error no mapping segment specified for the column. So thanks for watching guys and let us know if you face any kind of issue. Thanks for watching.